her. You gotta. You, you can't have the mouse in this picture like that. You really can't. It bothers me so bad. Oh, this is recording. Okay. Finals week. We're both kind of grumpy and tired, and this is. We're taping this on 12 12 12 because somebody is leaving me over break and leaving me here all by myself. Yep. Finals week kind of has us down, if you can tell. And we're not drinking today, which is weird. <laughs> I'm about to go raid your fridge and see if there's anything. We have nothing. In there. We have zero alcohol here. Hold on. She was right, no booze. Devastating. Nope. So, uh,. We have a funny video that we can show you of last weekend, or was it a weekend? It could have been like a Tuesday, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was like a Tuesday. <laughs> well, we got a little bit silly on a Tuesday, and there's a funny video of me dancing with Roxy, and we'll show it to you now. You need to move your head so everyone can see me dancing with Roxy. I have to think of something that I can get you out with, but it still applies to everyone. I can't edit them out if it's too inappropriate. Seven, maca, eight, maca, nine, maca, nine, and you can tell in that video I don't know how to count <laughs> because mm -hmm. I don't I don't make the numbers the right way in the correct order sorry I'm so out of it and I don't know how to be not sober yeah she's super drunk in it it's really <laughs> kind of funny okay so the things that we wanted to talk about today are Gaydar and celebrity crushes. And I think we're going to start with Gaydar and how really neither one of us have it, which is kind of kind of sad for this one. Yeah. Being the gay one. Yeah. And also kind of sad for me because I'm completely clueless whenever chicks are hitting on me. And maybe I'd like to know one day, you know? <laughs> so my experience to prove to you just how bad my Gaydar is uh, it was the night that I got my associate's degree. Me and a few of my girlfriends were out, and we were drinking at Fat Jack's. You said girlfriends? Yeah. Because girlfriends is used so loosely. Like, it's hard to be, like, my actual... Like... Yeah, they are. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Anyways. So... <laughs> So this girl comes up to me and she's like, hey, blah, 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 are you from around here? And I'm like, yeah, like I'm from a small town, like a little, like a tiny bit away. And like Jill's patronizing me right now, but whatever. So she like puts her arm around me and I'm like drunk and like, all right, sweet new friend, you know, like no big deal. And then she's like asking me like the things I like to do and all this kind of stuff. And then she asked me where the gay bar was, and I go, oh, it's, like, just down the block, across the street. It's the bistro. You'll love it. I mean, if you're, like, have, like into that or whatever, you know. She's like, yeah, yeah. But I still didn't get it. So that's how bad my gaydar is. And I think my gaydar should be better. I can pick out a gay dude. For yeah. sure. Yep. If you can dance too well, white boy. You're probably gay. Probably. Is that a stereotype? Probably for a reason. Probably. <clears throat> so, I also don't have gaydar, and that really sucks as a gay woman because <laughs> that'd be nice to have, but... Sorry, I snore. I'm sorry. Um, sorry, I'm not sorry. But yeah, no gaydar here. I, I guess. I'm like, oh, that girl, she's got short nails and... No nail polish, and she's wearing loafers and a vest and some plaid. Can we time out so, for a second? What? I just want to say I have short nails, no fingernail polish, and I'm wearing loafers. So does that make me a lesbian in this case? <laughs> and so what else? What else makes a woman gay? I really don't know. Especially because if I know a woman's gay, I'm probably not attracted to them because... I'm not into that. I'm kind of a lesbian. <laughs> so, Jill, what kind of people are you into? Uh, Straight-looking, unavailable older women <clears throat> who could be described as a MILF <laughs> or a cougar. 
Oh, we were also <laughs> going to talk about celebrity crushes. So one of my favorites is definitely Gerard Butler. Yes. Yeah. He'll be on my list too. <laughs> um, so that's one. Okay. Okay. Another man crush I have. Tay Diggs, for sure. Who's that? Uh, third dude crush. Ugh. Adam Levine. 100% of the time. Four. Um, <clears throat> who is that? Um, who is the black guy from, uh, Criminal Minds? Is it Criminal Minds? Yeah. The, like, not white dude from Criminal Minds. Jill's making fun of me. She makes fun of me all the time. I don't know why I hang out with her. I don't know why. I'm in a grumpy mood. And <laughs> we're both so grumpy. And number My neck hurts. Number five. It's probably going to be like Bradley Cooper or somebody like that. Like just somebody like just stereotypically gorgeous. Yeah, I think that's my list. I think I'm good. Okay. So who are your, who are your crushes, Jill? Okay. So my crushes are obvious, I think, after talking about my, my type of a woman. <laughs> Um, number one crush is Jennifer Aniston. Always, always Jennifer Aniston. Uh, number two, Sofia Vergara. Number three, Olivia Wilde. Oh yeah. Four, Mila Kunis. I guess I'll just go with a new, a recent crush that I've just discovered. Okay. Um, I've been watching The Real L Word lately, and from season one, the girl Tracy is really pretty. But is she really a celebrity? Yeah. I mean, she's a celebrity now. She's been on season one of Real, The Real L Word. Okay. Um, and then just to throw in a few that are not in my top five real quick, Leslie Mann and Lisa Edelstein, older hot ladies. Love Who it. Who are they? So, uh, my girl crushes, um, definitely Jennifer Aniston. Like, she's just gorgeous, like, just, mm -hmm. and I just really like her boobs. They're so small. It makes me feel okay, like, that my boobs are okay, even though they're tiny, too. Number two. <laughs> Ew. Okay, the second. <laughs> uh, Julie Bowen. You Modern do family. You do I do. Her. I I really do love her. Every time we talk about her, I'm like, oh, she's so funny. Like, poor Claire. Like, I just love her so bad. <laughs> Last girl crush. I think I'm going to have to go with uh, the girl that's in that new movie with Paul Rudd. Um, the, like... Something like 40 movie, that like kind of redheaded girl. That's Leslie Mann. Is it? Yes. Oh, well, I like her too. <laughs> um, and then my three man crushes um, Gerard Butler. Yeah. Vince Vaughn. I don't know, I guess like Ryan Reynolds. Mm hmm That's like that's like why I said like Bradley Cooper, like the Bradley Cooper esque yeah, kind of guy. Right. Like the like the like the jock, like the Abercrombie model, like mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> closing words. Um, have a good Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy whatever. Um, happy pagan holiday that turned into Christmas. Right. We're not we're not going there yet. We only have oh, six subscribers. I'm going. So, um, as always, find me on Twitter, Mick Stubby. Um, still doesn't use her Twitter. Nope, super um, dumb. We're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna post our Instagram names so you can find us on Instagram and like all of our cool pictures. Yay! So, yeah. It's nice talking to you guys. <laughs>